Hello there, everybody. Um, today we are going to be doing a complete collection as of January 1st, 2024 of my Skylanders figurines, video games, and such. So as you guys can see here, we have the original three, uh, Spyro, Gilgrunt, and Trigger Happy going off and starting us off here. You can also see um, the games that I actually have. We got uh, Spyro's Adventure for the Xbox 360, Giants, Swamp Force, Trap Team, Imaginators, um, and then I also have the Wii versions of Trap Team and Superchargers Racing. Um, I actually have a cold right about now, so my voice is going to sound very, very bad, so I do apologize for that. And just to go off and show you guys, I do have the Xbox 360 version of Superchargers as well. I just do not have a case for it. I believe it is also um, chilling in my Imaginator's case there. But let's go ahead and get started with the original three. Things off with the uh, start of the collection, we have Spyro. You know, this is Series 1 Spyro from the original game, Spyro's Adventure, obviously. <laughs> um, and then I also have his Dark Variant. Um, so that's pretty neat. Uh, not too, too much to say about these guys other than classic, um, very memorable. And then some of the other Magic Skylanders I have, probably my favorite Magic Skylander, um, from Spyro's Adventure is Voodoo. Um, I love this guy. He's got some great details, uh, very strong looking character, love playing as him, as well as Double Trouble. Uh, he's definitely a classic character, one of my, uh, favorites. And then the little guy himself, Wrecking Ball. And that is all of the Magic Skylanders, except for the legendary variants that I own. Next, getting on to the tech element, we have, of course, the starter pack character himself, Trigger Happy. Um, and then one of my favorite uh, tech Skylanders, just in general, Boomer. Um, this guy's got a great design. I love playing as Boomer. He has a lot of fun. And then we got the OP dragon himself, Drobot. Um, not too many Skylanders are built like Drobot. And then we got Drill Sergeant himself. Um, definitely a classic, fun character to play as. Not the most strong, but he's still pretty cool. And moving on to the water element. So with the water element, of course, you can't start it out any other way rather than Gilgrunt himself. Not my favorite Skylander by any means, but he is definitely a fun character to run around as and cause chaos. And then we have Slam Bam, um, definitely a chaotic uh, character. I love Slam Bam. Uh, he reminds me of the good times where me and my buddy Sam used to play together. And then we have my sister's favorite, Zap. Um, this here is Series 1 Zap, so he's in that bit of a running pose. Um, and I do not have Series 1 Wham Shell. So from out of the water element and into the fire element, we are going to start it off right with Ignite the Fire, a.k.a. Igniter himself. He was my first Fire Skylander that I had ever managed to pick up, and what I've noticed compared to um, most other people's Igniter is that mine's top and sword flames are a lot darker than theirs, apparently. Um, and then we got Flame Slinger, probably one of my favorite um, fire element characters from the first game. And then we have Sunburn, uh, definitely a fun character to play as. Um, and I do not have Series 1 Eruptor. And so out of the fire element and into the earth element, starting off with my favorite from Spyro's Adventure, Dino Rang here. Um, definitely a great character. I love this guy. I'm so glad that I picked him up whenever I seen him because he's kind of hard to find. And then we got Series 1 Prism Break, uh, followed up by Series 1 Bash, and I do not have Series 1 Terrafin. And so, from out of the Earth element and into the Air element, we have Whirlwind. Oh, Whirlwind just bit the dust, my bad. We have Whirlwind, um, definitely a character of all time. Not my favorite by any means. She was definitely my sister's favorite, though. And then Sonic Boom. Um, great character. Uh, I really love Sonic Boom. I think she is underrated as heck. And then I do not have Series 1 Lightning Rod or, um, Warnado. I don't have Warnado either. And so from out of the air element and into the life element, we have my favorite, one of my favorite Skylanders of all time, Stealth Elf herself. She was my first Skylander gifted to me by my buddy Sam. And then we have Zook, definitely one of my favorite um, Skylanders that I had gotten over the last year. Um, and I do not have Series 1 Stump Smash or Series 1 uh, Camo. 
And from out of the life element and into the undead element, we are going to kick it off with the man, the myth, the legend, Chop Chop here. Um, definitely one of my favorite Skylanders of all time. Um, he was my brother's favorite for the longest time, and I can understand why wholeheartedly, because he's just that cool. And then one of my other favorites, Ghost Roaster here. Um, I've got to say it. Uh, Spyro's Adventure has my favorite roster of any of the games. And then we got Cinder. And I have a brand new in-box uh, Series 1 Hex. So there is that. And so from moving on uh, from the Skylanders characters to uh, battle packs and stuff like that, there were no battle packs in the first game, but there were some expansion packs. So here we have uh, the Dark Light Crypt, um, as well as Sparks. And I believe this is the Time Turner, I think, maybe, possibly. And, uh, yeah, so that is definitely uh, definitely an adventure pack, if I've seen one before. Here is a little bit of an ensemble shot for uh, the original Spyro's Adventure game of all of the figures that I currently have in my collection, of which I'm missing very few. Before we move on, I forgot about the healing elixir. That is all. And so, moving on to the last game for this video, that being Skylanders Giants, where we got bigger, better, stronger, uh, and much, much slower um, characters as our gimmick. Um, that being said, we have our boy Jetvac here, um, one of the brand new cores for this game, as well as Series 2 Sender, who came in the starter pack, and our guy, as overrated as he is, he's still a legend, tree rex now let's go ahead and get started with the life element so our giant for the life element was obviously our guy he came in the starter pack tree rex probably one of the better giants in my opinion um but then we also got a brand new core that being shroom boom um probably one of the most iconic cores from this game he did get a repose in skylanders trap team so that's nice to see um and honestly shroom boom is probably one of my favorite cores uh from this game but then we also got reposes of one of my favorite Skylanders, Stealth Elf, as well as Stump Smash. Uh, let's get him into frame. And our boy, Zook. Unfortunately, camo was cut for this game. But now, let's go ahead and move on to the undead element. Our giant for the undead element was Eyebrawl, um, one of many people's favorite Skylanders to play as. Um, we got a brand new core, that being one of my favorite Skylanders to come out of this era of the games, that being Fright Rider, um, or Fright and Rider. Um, so, yeah, um, very underrated. I wish you could have gotten a series too. That being said, we also got reposes of Hex, your boy Chop Chop, mine is damaged though, and Cinder as she came in the starter pack. And that was the undead element for Skylanders Giants. And so moving on from the undead element and moving into the fire element, our giant was Hothead. This guy is absolutely massive. He's got some um, very, very tall uh, aspects of his figure. His head glows, so that's pretty neat. Um, yeah, he is definitely an oil baron of sorts. That being said, the brand new core for this game was Hot Dog, another iconic Skylander. Um, you'll come to find that a lot of iconic Skylanders came out of this game. And anyway, um, that was the fire element for Skylanders Giants. I do not own any of the reposes for uh, Giants, um, but since I had most of them from the first game, I didn't really worry about them as much because, you know, whenever you're on a budget, you don't really want to buy the same character over and over again. But let's go ahead and get that out of the way and move on to our next element, that being the tech element. So for the tech element, our brand new giant was Bouncer here. Um, definitely, and like I said before, another iconic figure um, from out of this era of the games. Um, he's a great character to play as. Actually, probably the fastest of the giants. Um, and probably one of my favorite characters that I have rediscovered a uh, love for. Um, and then the brand new core is Sprocket, the overhated, very techy tank building turret lady um and then we got some reposes that being uh series two drill sergeant as well as a series two trigger happy and i do not have um the series two drobot so yeah he was kind of rare and hard to find over here in north america 
moving on from that to our next element, that being the air element. So our brand new giant for this game is Swarm. Um, definitely an intimidating figure. Unfortunately, his gameplay does not completely match that, but he is definitely one of the more iconic figures of this era. And then our brand new core is Jedvac, probably one of my favorite cores to ever come out of the series. He's way overhated. He's a little bit on the weaker side. I realized that as I grew up, but I don't really mind that as much because I just love his design. Um, and then we got Reposes, that being Series 2 Sonic Boom, um, which was the first uh, Sonic, Boom, uh, Sonic Boom figurine that I had gotten, simply because I love the fact she had her little griffin baby with her. And then Series 2 Lightning Rod, um, which is pretty epic. I do not have the Series 2 version of Whirlwind, but like I'd said before, if I already had them, I'm not really going to go out of my way to collect a figure that I basically already had, just in another pose. So let's go ahead and move on to the Earth element. So the Earth element giant in Skylanders Giants is Crusher. Definitely, once again, a must-have figurine um, for Skylanders Giants. He is a absolute tank. Unfortunately, his hitboxes are gigantic, but I absolutely love Crusher. Um, he is a lot of fun. I remember me and my buddy Arden going off and battling um, my tree Rex versus his Crusher. I believe he had Granite Crusher, and uh, he went off and defeated my tree Rex at level 20, which was pretty wild, I'm not going to lie. Um, and then we have the uh, brand new core for this game, that being Flashwing. Mine is damaged here, as you can see, but thankfully I have her variant, so I kind of get to have both. Um, and then I have one Series 2 figure, that being Terrafin. And so, moving out of the Earth element and into the Water element, our giant for this game was Thumpback. Um, his light core um, abilities, whenever you put him on the portal, are on his little sea urchins here. He is all armored up and a very neat-looking figurine. He's got his chain uh, completely wrapped around his torso and his body and is holding on his armor here. Very, very cool figurine, very massive guy, um, and once again, unfortunately, his hitboxes as well are massive. Um, and then our brand new core for this game is the Chill um, character here. Um, my buddy Clayton uh, had went off and was talking to me about Chill, and apparently he had his completely decked out in some uh, very, very interesting uh, movesets that I have not been able to find. So one of these days, bro. One of these days, you're going to have to go off and show me what you were talking about. And then we got Series 2 Zap. Um, that is the one water element repose uh, that we actually have. Um, that being said, this was originally my sister's figurine. Um, her first Skylander was originally Cinder that I had given her, but she had went out and bought Zap uh, one day after school from GameStop um, in a town that we used to go off and live in. But... Moving that aside, we are now moving on to the magic element. So, the giant for Skylanders Giants of the magic element was Ninjini. Um, she is wielding two katanas and is a massive purple and black and very light blue genie. She's kind of a dark elf rogue of some nature. Um, you can see here she's got her uh, genie bottle back there. I believe that's the part that lights up on her, maybe, possibly, I'm not sure. Um, but I know that her uh, spectral tail here does light up as well, and she is a very neat figurine to have, and I am very glad that I have her. I got her for about $8 off of eBay. And our brand new core, one of the most overrated Skylanders in my opinion, is Pop Fizz. Don't get me wrong, I love the little gremlin, but oh my goodness, people, like, if there was a such thing as simping without simping, Pop Fizz is one of the most simped for uh, characters. And then I have two reposes from the Magic Element, that being Series 2 Spyro. Honestly, I prefer this figure over the Series 1 version, and Series 2 Wrecking Ball. I wish we could have got a Series 2 Voodoo. Big sad. Alrighty, and moving out from the Magic Element and into the variants, we are going to go ahead and start it off with the legendary figures that I own. Um, starting that off with, oh no, one of my boys just bit the dust. Starting that off with Legendary, once again, shout out to Ignite the Fire. Trust me, if you guys are watching this video, you probably know who he is. We got Legendary, um, 
Eruptor here. Uh, he's definitely a beast. I love his color scheme. He just looks like a character that you'd want to throw down on the portal, especially in PvP. He's very intimidating uh, with this color scheme. And then we got Legendary Jetvac. Honestly, I love his color scheme on his original figurine. But holy cow, they made it so much better with the black and gold fade on his uh, wings here. Not wings, but winglets coming out of his uh, uh, off of his face. And then we have um, a legendary figure I completely forgot existed, Legendary Stealth Elf. Um, in the $25 lot video, you guys seen me go off and react to pulling her out of this box, and I was stunned. I was like, I completely forgot she existed. And then moving um, out from the legendaries and into light cores, we have legendary light core chill. I believe she was some sort of Easter variant and came in special Easter packaging, which is a very interesting uh, character to have as an Easter variant. But here she is. And yeah, she's a light core and a legendary. Interesting. All right. And transitioning from the legendaries into the light cores, we have light core, a uh, legendary light core chill. And then Light Core Eruptor here, as well as Light Core Pop Fizz, um, a character that a lot of people cannot seem to find, except for about $30 to $45, which is absolutely insane. And then we got Light Core Shroom Boom, as well as Light Core Drobot. Um, I believe that is all of my Light Cores from Skylanders Giants, but yeah, these guys. Uh, for some reason, for some reason or another, are some of the most expensive uh, light core figures uh, that ever came out of the series. And now moving on from light cores into actual like true in-game variants, we have characters such as Jade Flashwing. Um, she has a wonderful gold and green and white design. Absolutely love this figurine. She is so pretty. 